Hi, I'm Nito from Mechanic Miner, and today I'll show you how to build advanced and customized weapons and how to utilize them with your vehicle. The crafted parts in this guide requires resources you'll get later in the game. If you're looking for a guide on crafting weapon systems in the start of the game, you should watch part 1. As always, we will be using the vehicle I built in the first guide in this series. If you're unsure how this vehicle works, you should watch the first guide called How to Build a Basic Vehicle. The first thing we're going to build is a saw blade. The saw blade requires a rare resource called manganese to be built. Also, you will need to set up a new system for powering the saw blade. Let us start by creating that system. You will need a new boiler, a new engine, and a switch. This time I will create the iron version of these parts. Then create a good accessible spot for the parts and place them. Notice how I'm placing the parts so they connect automatically without additional use of cables or pipes. Provide the new boiler with water and wood and test if the switch is working. Now we will have to make a good spot for the saw blade. Make sure to make room for belts to be connected from the engine to the saw blade. Place the saw blade at the edge. Create some belts and connect the saw blade to the new engine. Click the switch using E and the saw blade should run if connected correctly. As long as the switch is turned on and the boiler has wood and water for steam, the saw blade should turn around automatically so you can drive your vehicle meanwhile. It's possible to add any amount of saw blades to your vehicle. Just attach them to the belt setup you just made. But remember that saw blades requires manganese, which is not easily obtainable. I have now removed all the saw blades from the vehicle in order to show you an alternative way to create your own customized weapons. How you would like your customized weapons to look is really up to you, but I'll show you one way to do it. First, I'm going to create some iron couplings but you can also use copper couplings if you like. Place the couplings on the front of your car where the saw blade used to be, like this. Now we have a place to attach our weapon. So let's create the weapon. Start by placing a coupling anywhere next to your vehicle. Let it fall to the ground. Now use planks to make a cross around the coupling. Let's make it three blocks long on each side. Now we're going to add spikes to the cross. There are two kinds of spikes, normal spikes and steel spikes. We'll use normal spikes for this, since steel spikes requires manganese and normal spikes only requires copper and zinc, which is easily obtainable. Create at least 12 spikes and place them on the cross like this. Remember you can turn parts around using set. You might also have to use your multi-tool to turn the cross around. Once the spikes are placed, pick up the weapon using your multi-tool. Be sure that your cursor is over the coupling when picking it up. Now lift it to the end of your line of couplings on your vehicle. When the block turns green, release the mouse and the weapon should be connected to the coupling. Notice that the weapon is rotating when I click it. We will just need to connect the belts like we did with the saw blade to make it work. Once it's connected, try clicking the switch now you have your very own customized weapon. Although this weapon's functionality is basically like a saw blade, making weapons using this method will allow you to make very unique weapons, like this for example. Or this one, although this might not be so effective. You can also make weapons without the use of boilers or engines, like this one. Alternatively, you can also make a catapult, but that's a whole other guide. That was it for now. Good luck designing and building some crazy, deadly steam-powered machines. We would love to see your inventions and your customized weapons, so be sure to share them on our forum. Mm -hmm.